Hi, I'm Lisa from Teledyne Isco, and today I'm going to show you how you can make the most of having the four solvent lines on our next gen 300 plus in order for you to run simultaneous gradients. So let's have a look. So here we are on the front screen of our next gen 300 plus. As you can see, we've got a normal phase silica column and it's set up with a default gradient using hexane ethyl acetate. Now you may be in the situation where from TLC, you've been able to see that your compound will elute in DCM methanol, but it has some very closely running impurities. You also know from TLC that a hexane ethyl acetate gradient will remove those impurities. So you may want to have a gradient where you run a hexane ethyl acetate gradient first, and then your DCM methanol gradient in order to elute your compound. So how do we do that? So from this front screen, if we go into method editor at the top there, we can change the run length. In this case, I'll increase it to 15 minutes. And then we want to have that short hexane ethyl acetate gradient to start off with. We then want to bring the gradient down. So I insert a couple of points. I'll keep that at 100% in order to, to have the ethyl acetate wash bring that right down and then we'll have a 0 to 10% gradient of the DCM methanol. However, all of this is still set up in hexane ethyl acetate. In order to change this latter half of the gradient, I go into edit gradient and where it's set at 0 here, I just switch to DCM methanol and as you can see here, from that point on, it's switched from your hexane ethyl acetate to DCM methanol in order to elute your compound. Hit the exit button, it'll then ask you if you want to save it, and then you're ready to start your run. So there we go. For those more tricky separations, where you've got some closely eluting compounds, then your simultaneous gradients is a really good way of separating those out, so you end up with the purest fraction that you can of your compound of interest. Thanks very much for listening.